Hello there, welcome back to this QuickBooks Online tutorial. I'm now going to show you how to record or post credit notes from suppliers. In the previous video, I showed you how to add invoices to the supplier account. Here are the two invoices that were added. You can see the net amount, the VAT, and then the total amount. It even shows the category of the expense. And obviously we have the supplier at the top here and the date of each invoice. To record credit notes, it's very straightforward. All you need to do is go to the top here. Instead of click bill, you need to go to supplier credit. You'll then have this credit template come up. All you need to do is fill in the details, your nominal account, the description, you can put that in there. The amount of the credit, this is the net amount before VAT, then the VAT amount, you can have anything from new VAT to 20%, but you can also edit these codes. You know, if VAT changes to 25%, you can edit these codes to reflect that. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. So 20%, once we're happy with that, just go to save and close. If you have a number of credit notes to post, then you can click save and new. That will save this credit note and bring up a new template for you to fill in. So I'll click on this drop down, click save and close. You'll then see that this supplier credit, this credit note is showing on the account. Here we have a negative 50 with a negative 10 VAT, negative 60 gross total. So very straightforward, very simple. Just go to new transaction and supply credit. To get to this area of QuickBooks, all you need to do is go to the purchase ledger by going to expenses, suppliers, Click on the supplier you wish to record the credit note for, and then go to the top here, new and supply credit. If you've been following this tutorial from the beginning, I suggest you now go and take a break. It might be worth stretching your legs, getting a drink, just having a break, and then coming back to these videos. There's still a bit more to go through, and it's better if your minds are fresh and you're re-energized before carrying on with this tutorial. They're not going anywhere, don't worry, and you can watch them as many times as you want. You can go back to the beginning if you want a refresher already, but take a break, come back. I'm now going to move on to the banking section of QuickBooks Online and talk about making payments, recording payments, recording receipts, and those sort of things. 